Hey y'all and welcome. I am so glad that you are here today. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving meal and Thanksgiving time for those of you that celebrate it. Um, we celebrated it this weekend with our family. But for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Madeline Tabison. I create cleaning motivational content here on YouTube and also I do a little bit of cooking content as well. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a undecorate with me so that way we can get ready for our future video, which is a decorate with me for Christmas. Um, so this video is going to be focused on deep cleaning, undecorating, we got to organize everything, just freshen everything up so that way we can get ready to clean our home and make it look nice and fresh for the Christmas holiday season. Um, so right now what I'm doing in the video is I am getting my laundry done. So I am using this Shout Greets Busting Foam on my shirts because I am accident prone. So I drop a lot of food on my shirts when I'm eating just because I don't know. I think I'm just discombobulated. <laughs> and this grease busting foam is so good. It really cleans up all the grease the first time around when you wash this thing. I mean, that's what anybody wants. You know what I mean? <laughs> we don't want to keep using um, seven different products just to get out a grease stain. And this one here is so good and a little bit goes such a long way. Um, this is kind of, I would say it is a pricier product, but if you are used to only using OxyClean or maybe Borax or like a home remedy of, of vinegar and stuff, I mean, that stuff is more natural, which is good for you and for the environment. But this one, I mean, it is just so convenient and I love how quick it gets the stains out of my shirts. So if you are looking for a good, um, grease removing product this one right here is so good i'll try and find a link to it down below in the description box and um, that way y'all can check it out for yourself and see if it works for you Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put a few of my groceries away. This is just a quick overview of everything that I got from the grocery store. I do put my cold stuff away first. However, before I put anything away, I do like to wipe all of my groceries down with a Clorox wipe, a disinfectant wipe, or a cleaning solution of vinegar water and mild soapy water. Um, that way all of the dirt and grime and germs that are on my groceries can, you know, not be lingering around and it can disinfect while, you know, it's chilling in my fridge. Um, I do like to do this because I, I'm not a germaphobe. I wouldn't say I'm a germaphobe per se, but I did work at a grocery store and I did see a lot of how, not how they treat the products, but you know, there's no special care as far as cleanliness of the actual product itself. And you know, that's okay. Things happen and dirt is, you know, to happen on, on actual products itself. So I just like to wipe it down and that way I can, if there's any possible way of me reducing the amount of germs that there are so we don't get sick, I will do it because I cannot, I, I always say I can never afford to be sick. So I want to do everything that I can to prevent myself from getting sick. So if you haven't, if you're, if you don't wipe down your groceries, you know, it's ain't no big thing. You know what I mean? I will still just as easily have a snack from a friend's house without it being wiped down. I just, you know, I like to wipe down my own groceries itself. And next what I'm doing here is I am going to decanter slash disassemble all of these extra boxes that I have here from the items that I got from the grocery store. So of course I decantered my 
cereal that I got here. We typically don't go through cereal that often. I would say we get cereal about once a month and literally just one box a month. Um, we only have cereal in the house if we're like really lazy and we don't want to cook and we don't want to go out. So it's kind of considered a treat slash like a super quick lazy meal. And then I just get my snack bin uh, reassembled and then I like to decanter juice not all the time I will only do this if I am running out of space in our fridge for items for drinks I go through different types of beverages I love lemonade tea coffee I like to have cold water so that takes up space in the fridge and I just like to have that you know at the ready and sometimes these bulky containers they get in the way <laughs> And then here I'm just going to prepare my lettuce for the week. I like iceberg lettuce. I think it has a nice crunchy texture. Just like romaine. I love romaine. But, you know, iceberg is a little bit uh, in less inexpensive and it's really good. So I just punch out the core by hitting it on the counter and then rinse it off with some vinegar water. Uh, make sure that I put into my spray bottle and then I will rinse that off with a little bit of cool water Let it drain and then I'll package it away in a storage container And then I just also like to prepare all my veggie my veggies I like to prepare my veggies for the week because it it just makes everything so easy and that you, it's just assembling it's, I think of it like a salad bar if I just have everything ready It's so easy to assemble and it takes less time for me to do throughout the week so I have more time to do other stuff and spend my time on things that actually are super important to do. One of my favorite tips to do with my kitchen aprons when I'm washing them is to just go ahead and tie the strings together on that apron. Um, it really helps with reducing the amount of times that the strings will attach to other things in the wash and potentially ruin the stuff that's in your wash. So if you have had issues with the strings wrapping around other towels or even clothing or I'm, I'm not sure how you you wash your aprons and stuff, I would suggest to just try out uh, tying the strings together and see how that works. Um, I will say I don't think I've ever had them come apart on me in the wash itself, like the actual knot that I make. So everything is just easy and easy and ready to go. So let me know if you try out that tip or if you already knew about that, let me know down below in the comments. So here I found some more snacks that I had um, in a bag and I just went ahead and decantered this as well. I just went ahead and removed the popcorn from the boxes and just, you know, put it in our secondary snack bin. This one is basically our savory snacks here. And the reason why we get two different types of popcorn is because I don't like super salty popcorn and my husband does. So I get the lightly salted and he gets the, the butter one. Um, it's just my preference. I don't know why I don't like super salty popcorn, but 
you know. And then these are his favorite uh, nut mix that he has, and he likes to snack on that at night. So um, if you're looking for a good snack mix and you're in Texas or close to an HEV, definitely check that out. And then I was just uh, reassembling the, the sweet snack bin from earlier because I found some extra snacks, like I said, and I just needed to put them away. Using my label maker, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a quick label that says peanut for the peanut M&Ms, just in case we do have friends over that are, you know, not in the vibe for peanuts or if they are somehow allergic to peanuts. I don't think any of our friends are, but just in case, I do like to label that and just make sure that I have that in a separate container, you know, keep it all nice and cute and neat. Um, my husband loves M&Ms. I think he is obsessed with them. So we basically go through M&Ms in this house like nobody's business. And, you know, I, I'm i okay with M&Ms. My favorite is like Ghirardelli chocolates or uh, like super dark chocolate. That is my favorite. I love bitter chocolate. So, you know. And then here you notice me writing put me away on the ranch bottle. This is my husband's ranch. Yes, he has his own ranch bottle. Uh, this is his own situation. He goes through ranch also a lot. And his thing though, is that he forgets to put the ranch away and then it goes bad. And so in order to prevent that, I have to literally label it, put me away, so he can remind himself to put it away before it goes bad. <laughs> is anyone else's husband like that forgetful or <laughs> is it just mine? <laughs> Let me know all of your stories down in the comments. I'd love to hear some of those stories. So next, I'm just going to go ahead and start undecorating all of my fall decor and go ahead and store that away. Um, what I like to do is just collect everything and then put it on our kitchen table and then put everything away because that just makes everything nice and easy. Put everything away all at once. <laughs> and I like to give a good wipe down on the areas where I did decorate because, you know, decorations they stay stationary dust collects and i just like to wipe everything down before decorating i am so excited for decorating for christmas christmas is my favorite holiday i love all of the greenery all of the glitter and festivities and everything that happens during the christmas time don't get me wrong i love fall colors like this uh burgundy fall eucalyptus reef that reef uh eucalyptus garland that i have is beautiful i love it so much i wish i could just have it up all year round but you know it's not fall all year round unfortunately but i love it so much and that is honestly my favorite garland i think i own So here you'll see I am watching a Christmas movie. I think this is the Christmas Chronicles, the second one. Um, I love the Christmas Chronicles movies. They are super good and I feel like they were filmed and produced really well. It really gets me in a nice festive spirit and obviously it is so good I can't stop watching. But y'all, 
do you see how crazy our our coffee table looks right now it's it's crazy it honestly i literally don't know how how does it get like this all the time <laughs> But what is your favorite Christmas movie that you like to watch that gets you in the festive spirit? My favorite is the Santa Claus, the first one. I love that movie so much and it really gets me in this nice, cozy, fun-filled, spirited movie. I don't know why, but I just feel like there is such a genuineness and such a an innocence about that movie that I resonate with and I love how it was filmed. I love Tim Allen. I think he is an incredible actor and I I love the storyline. And I I would say my husband's his favorite movie is The Polar Express. That's his favorite one to watch uh, to get him into the Christmas spirit. Um and of course, there's a the traditional elf. I think everyone likes elf and it gets them in the spirit almost. Um, but what is your favorite? I would love to know. Please leave a comment down below of what your favorite Christmas movie is. So here I'm just going to go ahead and declutter and remove all of the extra stuff that is on our bar top area. I kind of use this as a mantle, but it honestly just becomes a catch-all space for all of our stuff. Um, I really don't know why we just can't put stuff away. I'm trying to have that motto of don't put it down, put it away, be at the forefront center of my brain. And it is very hard sometimes, but it is a lesson that I am still constantly learning and I'm still constantly trying to embed in my brain um, because I just put stuff down and I know it's like so easy to just go put it away, but I don't know why. It just makes it so difficult for me to, to go and want to do it. I don't know if that just makes me lazy or if I just, I just, I know that I never learned how to put stuff away properly. So it is a mental idea that I'm trying to make a habit.
I just wanted to pop on here to say that this is absolutely my favorite electric kettle that I've ever owned. And it is just super, super nice. And it heats up your water so fast. So if you are looking for an electric kettle that is super simple, just quick and easy, check this one out. I'll leave a link down below in the description so you can see if it's something that you would like for yourself or if you're looking for an electric kettle, definitely check this one out. I absolutely love it. to the stove i am constantly cleaning this thing because obviously there's a lot of oil splatter that happens almost every time i cook um does anyone know of a way to clean off the coil itself i just usually spray this solution which is the mrs myers and then kind of let it burn off after a little bit or i'll use like vinegar which i don't know if that's bad for the coils itself it's just i want them to kind of look new again because they they look a little faded they look a little crusty so i don't know if anyone has coils out there that um they know how to like i guess renew the look of the coil itself let me know what you use or or if you just replace it in general down below in the comments i i would love to know how to replace those because these are looking a little crusty and dusty if you know what i mean
cleaning my cutting boards, what I like to do is to use a dish soap and a little bit of baking soda and give that a good scrub. What this does is disinfect your cutting boards, whether that be plastic or wood. However, I will say if you do uh, use the baking soda on wood, make sure that you go ahead and treat the wood, the wooden cutting board with a mineral oil uh, that is good for cutting boards because you want to rehydrate the wood afterwards so, you know, your cutting board doesn't crack in half and, you know, you can't use it anymore. <laughs> um, so here, what I'm doing, these are all of my decorations for fall. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that back in the container that I have for storing away my fall decorations. I also put a little bit of my spring decorations in here as well because I have some extra room. I don't really go too overboard with decorations in general. So... I'm just putting it all in here. I mean, if it fits, it sits, you know what I mean? <laughs> so um, that's what I'm doing here. And then I'll go ahead and store that away and we'll go ahead and put that back up in our attic and I'll go ahead and finish up cleaning. So now I am just gonna finish by vacuuming my floors. I'm gonna get every single inch because we have, like I said, a golden retriever lab and she sheds a lot. <laughs> so I love this vacuum so much and I say this in every video that I share this vacuum in. It is so good and it literally picks up every single hair and you never lose power because it's corded. And I know about that cordless life. I do have a Dyson, uh, cordless vacuum and I do love it for some things but it is an older model and the battery and the selection power just you know isn't that great anymore on it and then of course it dies every so often so um but this one is so great and I love that you can see everything that's getting picked up because of this light that's in the front and it just it, it's honestly one of the most lightweight vacuum cleaners that are is corded that I've ever used so if you are looking for a good vacuum cleaner or even a great vacuum cleaner i highly recommend this one um it is so simple to use and it is so easy to clean out the filters are easy to clean you can wash them which is perfect for me and then i just clean out the basin with just like disinfectant wipe or just with a nice washcloth so um yeah if you're looking for one check check this one out last but not least we are steam mopping our floors we're gonna get these nice and clean i am using my shark spin head steam mop i love this steam mop so much it came highly recommended to us by a friend and i am so glad that we got that recommendation and we actually 
bought it. <laughs> it is such a good mop. Um, I'll go ahead and leave a link down below to it so you can check it out for yourself and see if you were, if you're in the market for a new st uh, steam mop. You could check this one out and see if you like it. And then this is the end of our video. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to today. And I do hope this gave you enough motivation to get all of your uh, things done before you start decorating for Christmas. And thank you so much if you're here, if you're returning, if you're new. If you um, could give this video a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Uh, just saying hi. I would love to say hi to you in the comments. And I will catch y'all next time. Bye, y'all. Oh,